My name is Anna, and you are listening to the Billionaire Lifestyle Podcast 3430 Edition with your host and my stepdad, Emmett Michaels. Hey, everybody, we've hit the end. Bow! 30 days in, 30 podcasts in the month of September. Oh my lord. It was a it was it, it was some work. You know, to get 30 podcasts up every single day requires dedication, requires foresight, requires planning. <laughs> it required a lot on my part. Since I started this podcast, I've been from Chicago to San Francisco back to Chicago, to San Francisco, to from San Francisco to Las Vegas, from Las Vegas back to Chicago, and done a, quite a few other things in the, in the interim. And before it's over, I'll be in Detroit and back to Chicago. I'm not in Chicago. I don't live there, but I live very near there. And let's do a quick recap of what we went through for this month. So, you know, we started out talking about if you could be like the birds and the bees, the plants and the trees, you know, they have something that they don't have something that we have, which is we have free will. You know, they're kind of autonomous. They come out with a programming and they kind of stick to it unless something changes in their environment. But us, we get to create what is in ours. You know, we talked about breaking bad habits, how 30 days is a good benchmark for creating a new habit or breaking a bad habit. We talk about the power of your dreams and how disgust, anger and resolve and change and motivation and purpose. All those were a specific topic and how if you can understand, captivate, and use those to your advantage, how prosperous your life can be. You know, we talked about seeking the why, appreciation, levels of love. And here's a really important one, not giving a damn sometimes. Sometimes there's, there are things in your life that don't involve you, that have that don't need your energy. So you really shouldn't give a damn about them. That is so true, particularly nowadays. I always think about that when it comes to media. You know, a lot of the things that are in the media, I don't give a damn about. And it's kind of upsetting to me because it's invading my space. When I just turn on the television in the morning, I'm trying to get the weather and I'm bombarded with this stuff that I really don't give a damn about. (laughs) And. You know, we start wrapping it up about the halfway point to believe in your art. Now, that's something that most people don't even really get is the art of things anymore. People think everything is just a va- like you can just do it. And I, I'm the best at it. You know, they say it takes really 10,000 hours for you to be proficient in something. 10,000 hours. In this culture, someone can have, you know, a couple of days into something and the world will perceive them as they're an expert. I mean, just think, for instance, the amount of hours I had to put in just to produce these 30 podcasts. It was clearly more than 30 hours just to produce these podcasts. I mean, and I don't mean just record them. I mean, record them, edit them a wee bit, uh, tag them up, get them online, make sure everything is kosher. Boom. I put in some hours in the last month for this podcast, but it's my art and I'm serious about my shit. (laughs) Forgive me for cussing, but that's how I feel about it. You know, this is the wrap up. So I'm going to be a little bit looser than I normally am. Also, we began to move into the metaphysical plane with prayer and meditation and the three components of self Um, inspiration and one thing that we cannot afford to become a part of, which is believing the lies. You know, I heard this really cool thing by Denzel Washington about news today, 
which is it's not important to be right, but it's important for them to be first, whether it's true or not, whether they fact checked all the way through or not. So you can't believe the lies. And there are many that are floating about. Also, we moved on from there where turn off the television, because whether you know it or not, the television affects how you are. It affects your psychological being. It affects how you think. It affects how you perceive the world. Now, I'm going to give you this one. And this is all over the place if you look for it. Uh, I like what Tim Weiss says about how the media projects men of color. So one of the things is that it always says that men of color, this is what they project. And if you look at it close enough, by and large, this is what you'll see is they project that black men are dangerous. They project, They project that you don't want them living near you. You don't want anything with them because they are a harm to the general populace or the dominant society. That's fine. But it's not fine because it taints the perception of those who have no interaction with certain human beings that are just not in their community. It's a weird thing. So turn off the television turn that baby off. Here's the other thing though. Then we moved on once I got off that rant. It's all about you can do, be, see, hear, feel, experience anything. Remember that free will we were talking about because of that free will, the power is in your hands. You are a being that was molded after the creator and the creator has all the power because just think of all the beautiful things that are around us. So if you have one tenth, one percent of what the creator has, you are an extraordinary being. So you can accomplish anything your mind can conceive. I mean, for instance, who would have thought that I would be able to talk to people all around the world sitting in my little studio in Indiana? I mean, you can do anything. All you have to do is try. All you have to do is conceive put a plan together and try. You need that action. Also, there's some other items that we talked about. Be humble. Find your passion. Raise your bar. You know, wherever you are right now, there's like a millimeter you can go higher. And if you keep just doing one millimeter more, one percent more, a percent, a half a percent more, Within a short amount of time, you will have totally redeveloped yourself. Also, this is a big one. Water. Water is the key to us living. Water is the key to your health. Water keeps you balanced. Water is the source. We are bags of mostly water. So embrace the substance H2O because it is the elixir of living. Our carbon-based bodies need water. Also, and this is more on the health side, which is the power of sleep. Making sure that you get your sleep. I know a lot of people are like, I I, I sleep when I die. I got things to do. Yeah, you can only do so much. You can't do it if you're not healthy. Sleep repairs the body. Sleep rejuvenates the mind. Sleep is your reset. Also, we covered awareness and consciousness. Yes, I used the football analogy with what's happening in the NFL nowadays. but And I use a couple of other analogies, too, so that you could see that being aware and being conscious go hand in hand. Just because you're aware of something doesn't mean it's in your consciousness. So there were some other things that I was going to touch on, literally touch on. And the last one that I was going to do and am going to do is the power of human touch. You know, when I meet people, I hug them. I literally hug them. I don't want a handshake unless their energy is just really needy. Because if someone has really needy energy, they will pull energy from you. But I, there's something so special about 
humans touching or just living entities touch? Have you touched a tree? Have you touched a flower? Touched another human. I mean, touch them, not creepy, but creepy. Like, you know, you're here. You're a physical presence. And I am in awe of you. I'm in awe of your skin. I am in awe of everything that you are. You know, they say one thing that if baby, newborn babies aren't touched, that they don't develop as fast, that they could even die if they don't experience human touch very early in their lives. Touch is so very important. And with the advent of social media and these things that we call smartphones, they're taking us away from that touch. So the next time you meet a friend, give them a hug, pat them on the back, you know, just grab their hand, shake their hand, and then turn their hand over and look. And they're going to go, what are you doing? And you're just saying, I'm appreciating what you are. No creepiness. This is all love. This has been the Billionaire Lifestyle 30 for 30 podcast. We are done. We have completed the task. It is a wrap, son. We are out of here. Remember this. All the things that I've talked about in the last 30 days, starting with the birds and bees and ending today, is really those things that are about you. And here's what's funny, because I've done some interviews in the interim, and all of these topics were popping up, and they were affirmed by other people. I thought that was so powerful that the things that I had mapped out for the month of September were affirmed by people outside of myself. How awesome is that? How awesome is life? You know, even when you get down and it's okay to be down, it's okay to be a little depressed. But when you're in that state, know that you can come out on the other side. I suffer from it some from time to time myself. You just get into a funk. But I always know that I can come out of it because tomorrow is a new day. Five minutes from now is a new moment. Everything in life, everything in life will change. So if you're good, you can be better. If you're bad, you can be good. If you're worse, you can be better. Till next time, remember, look in that mirror. Appreciate who you are. Know that I appreciate you. Know that someone else appreciates you. But it's important for you to appreciate all that you are, all that you can be, and all that you aspire to be. Till next time, 